I'm Michael West, Technical Product Manager with VMware. This is the first video in a series of deep dives into troubleshooting Tanzu Kubernetes clusters, or TKC, deployed through the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Service, or TKG. We begin with some fundamental concepts that are important in knowing where to look and how to interpret log information while trying to find the root cause of an issue. The Kubernetes REST API exposes a set of standard resources like pods, deployments, or services. When developers submit a declarative specification to the cluster, the Kubernetes controller manager coordinates the reconciliation of the desired state of the underlying object described in the API call with the actual state of the object in the system. If she asked for a set of pods with a load balancer service, it makes sure that is what she has and continues to have. The Kubernetes API is also highly extensible. Developers can define their own custom endpoints or CRDs, and Kubernetes would provide standard methods like create, list, describe, or delete on those objects. Developers can write custom controllers that are responsible for reconciling these objects into whatever the specification defined. The Kubernetes community saw the need to standardize lifecycle management of Kubernetes clusters, including scaling up and scaling down, as well as to provide a common framework and workflow, regardless of what underlying infrastructure was used. The extensibility of the Kubernetes API provided a solution. The result is the open source project called Cluster API, which uses an existing Kubernetes cluster to lifecycle manage many other Kubernetes clusters. The supervisor Kubernetes cluster is the management cluster for Cluster API. Cluster API describes a set of custom resource definitions or CRDs and controllers to operate on them. These come pre-installed in the supervisor cluster. The high-level workflow is that a developer submits a create cluster specification that causes the creation of various custom resources that are reconciled by the cluster API controllers. The end result is the creation of a set of VMs configured into a Kubernetes cluster. The API resources command shows all of the objects that are accessible through the Kubernetes API, both standard and custom resources. I'll limit the search to just a few standard objects. Notice the API version v1. This is a reference to a standard Kubernetes resource in the API. By listing all of the pods in the Kubernetes system namespace, we can see all of the Kubernetes controllers, including the API server and the controller manager. Controller manager reconciles standard resources like pods. Now I will limit the search of the API resources to objects whose API version is run.tanzu.vmware.com instead of v1. This represents a set of custom resources that have been defined for the creation of TKG clusters. To see corresponding custom controllers that will reconcile these objects, I will list the pods running in the VMware system TKG namespace. Keep in mind that there are many controllers and CRDs that make up this system, and we are just looking at a subset here. As we get into troubleshooting in the next video, I'll drill down into the ones that are most relevant. All of the custom resource definitions and controllers are installed in the supervisor cluster and are specifically tailored for use with the VMware VM service to implement management of the underlying virtual machines running on vSphere. Developers submit a declarative specification that defines the cluster they want to create. A custom resource of kind Tanzu Kubernetes Cluster, or TKC, is created. The TKG controller is watching for TKC resources and reconciles the spec into a set of new specifications for the cluster API custom resources that are needed. The second video in this series will drill more into what those resources are, but they define the cluster specification, what the individual machines will look like, and how to configure them as either control plane or worker nodes.
The Cluster API controllers create the virtual machine custom resources that contain the complete specification for creating the actual virtual machines on vSphere using the VM service. The VM service, also known as the VM operator controller, is the declarative interface to vSphere and reconciles the specification into actual virtual machines. At each layer, the specification is expanded to include more vSphere specific detail and the status is reflected higher into the stack. This is a simple specification file for creating a TKG cluster. Notice that it creates a custom resource called Tanzu Kubernetes Cluster or TKC. The cluster will have one control plane and two worker nodes. The virtual machines that make up the cluster will be provisioned onto data stores defined through the vSphere storage policy called Kubernetes policy. Kubernetes version 1.20.2 will be installed. And the container networking within the cluster will use Antria with the IP blocks defined here. To create or update the TKC custom resource, apply the specification file. In this case, I have not modified the original configuration, so the cluster will be unchanged. The kubectl get command provides basic information about the TKC resource. For more detail, we will describe the resource. It contains specification information, but also status info that has been reflected back up into the TKC resource from lower level custom resources. The most important area in terms of troubleshooting, particularly during cluster create or update operations, is the status field. It contains sections for add-ons and conditions. Add-ons reflect the stages of configuration for components that are being provisioned within the cluster. Errors surfaced here will drive the appropriate logs to inspect. Conditions reflect the status of individual milestones in the cluster creation process. You now have an understanding of some of the Kubernetes fundamentals that are used in the lifecycle of Tanzu Kubernetes Grid clusters, as well as the basics of the TKC custom resource. In the next video, we will see the reconciliation of the TKC resource into a basket of cluster API resources that then generate provider-specific resources and ultimately become the physical infrastructure that makes up the cluster. Thank you.